There was no love. There was no passion. <laughs> Shit, there was no interest. Right. Shit, that was barely a huh. <laughs> Man, this movie, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it harsh. This movie is just a neglected hoe. Just Damn. thrown out there to sell his ass for money. And just come back in and get smacked around <laughs> before they get put back out in that corner again. It's a damn shame the way they did this movie. It, the, you know, just this indifference yeah. that they had to it. It's, so, it's, just, it's sad. It's pathetic. The attitude that went into this, especially for a character that no one knew about. You could have done so much. So much could have been done. That's right. Double Toasted Live is going to be in Los Angeles Saturday, April 27th at the El Portal Theater. Hope everybody out there had a good weekend. I'm sure most of you did, as long as your name was not Madam Webb. <laughs> Well, I ain't going Let's in there. Try that, I guess. <laughs> Dakota Fanning just turns around. Oh, what's her name? Dakota Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Just turns around, just walks off the set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's try that again. Get the f out of here. I, I, I try to tell those bitches. Yeah. That they yeah. <laughs> think I can go back further before I sign the contract? To yeah. <laughs> 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 <Just> people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, boy, this is a rough weekend for the old madam out there. She didn't. <laughs> nah, she didn't. Didn't have a good weekend at all, people. This movie opened up to uh, to, to twenty five million dollars, I think. Twenty five million dollars domestically, and I think twenty five million dollars internationally. Got beat by old Bob Marley out there. Uh, people love Bob Marley. Yeah, well, nobody loves her. <laughs> yeah. You had one love and he had no love. <laughs> right? <laughs> For a lot of people, this is a dream come true. The movie failed. You know, which and people are thinking, you know, just with with every failure that Sony makes, maybe we're just getting a little bit closer to them stopping the bullshit. <laughs> maybe, you know, hopefully, hopefully. They haven't done it yet. But don't give up the dream, y'all. <laughs> yeah. They, they ain't giving up. <laughs> they got to at some point. I mean, that damn Morbius bombed. This is bombing. If listen, if quality don't mean shit to you, then maybe money will or lack of it. So this movie bombed very bad. The simple answer to why this bombed is that it sucked. I mean, simply put, you know, no more to say or is there. The thing is. With this movie right here, and a lot of us, a lot of us, we, we saw the signs. We felt what was happening. You know, a lot of things were indicators that this movie was not going to do very well before it ever hit theaters out there. I have, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six reasons, might have more if these guys add on to it, but I have prepared six reasons as to why this movie, Madam Web, more specifically bombed at the box office other than the movie just sucked. Why did it suck so bad? What were the factors that were there before the movie came out that were telling us that this was not going to go well at all? Well, we're going to go over those. And since we have six of them, we're going to start with uh, number one. Jumping right into it. <clears throat> let's just uh, let's talk about one of the, uh, the more obvious things. For the, or the, one of the more obvious reasons why this movie didn't do well. And at number one, that obvious reason is. You can't take a character no one cares about and treat them like you don't care. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No mm. one gives a shit about this character in the first place. So if you don't if you don't give them a reason to, why would they show up? Especially if you don't give a shit. I this is what baffles me the most. You know, let's be honest, y'all. And I don't mean anything mean by this, but you know. No one gave a shit about Madame Webb, all right? No one knew who this character was. Even the comic book characters, they, they, our comic book fans, even they were like, why y'all doing this? Yeah, you think about the hierarchy <laughs> of characters you would choose to make movies of. She <clears throat> would probably, she. I would say she'd be way down on the list. She wouldn't even be on the list. No, she would not. Yeah, you you get down to Z and she still ain't yeah. there. <laughs> why would you, you know, take a character that nobody cares about that is not even a Z-less character and not give a shit about how you portray this character on the screen, something that you put out there to make money. Thing is, that should not matter. DC all the way down to uh, D, E, F, G, all the way down to Z. You know, it. no matter what list your character is on, that should not be a factor. Thing is, 
And I think a lot of people have seen this. D-list characters and beyond, they actually make for some great stories. They do. And listen to me, y'all. I, I, I'm 100% behind an, a, Madam, a Madam Web movie being made simply because she is a character that no one knows. You know, uh, because these characters, we haven't seen them before, so they hopefully they come in and offer something just a little fresh, mm -hmm. you know, besides the same superheroes that we're getting hit with all the time. Sure. <clears throat> and in the case of uh, characters like, say, Blade or Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. they didn't have a huge fan base with lore. <clears throat> Fans who were going to be protective of, you can't do that. This isn't like it was in the yeah. comics. It was like, well, I already know about much about them, so you can do what you want. Yeah. And they took it and say like, well, let's do something really good with this. Yeah, that's you know you're right. I would say I had Guardians of the Galaxy prepared. You know, no one was talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't even don't you you don't know nothing about no Guardians of the Galaxy out there. You stop it. No one knew about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now hardcore comic book fans did who were reading Marvel, but the general public didn't know about Guardians mm -hmm. of the Galaxy. Now they're, they're, they're some of the most endearing characters because yeah. they came at a time where hey, look. Iron Man, Thor, the Avengers, even Spider-Man, they cool, man. But, you know, y'all kind of, you know, y'all been around for a while. Y'all need to go home. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, this part is done. These guys came in and they offered not only new characters that we hadn't seen before, but they offered like a whole new fresh perspective on mm -hmm. uh, on the superhero yeah. uh, story by making this somewhat of a sci-fi story, making this somewhat of a comedy. You know, these characters were quirky, you know. They, yeah. they were able to, being that they were not that well-known, James Gunn was able to go in and have a lot of fun with these characters yeah. and do what he wanted to do with them. See, the thing is, it's not the movie's fault that it that you know that that it was that it was this bad. You know, uh, it's the studio's fault. Sony, it's their job to make us care sure. about this character. You know, but that was uh, you know there was a, be a feeling from the beginning when they were making this that they didn't care that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could man, y'all looked at the trailer and said, "Damn, that looked cheap." Y'all remember saying that. You know, th there was just this this attitude of apathy. Yeah, apathy. That's the word. Man, it was it was just so apathetic. The feeling that Sony had with this when they were going into it, you know, it was the, it was Sony's job to go in and, and and find a group of nerds, you know, to deep dive on this character and write about it. And they're out there in Hollywood, believe me, you know, find a director who's in, like James Gunn, who's inspired, and who can come in and do something weird and unique mm -hmm. with these that's because that's what james dunn gun did he had free will to go in and just be kind of just weird with this yeah there was no love there was no passion <laughs> put in here shit there was no interest right shit that was barely a huh <laughs> man this movie and I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it harsh this movie is just a neglected hoe just Damn. thrown out there to sell his ass for money and just come back in and get smacked around <laughs> before they get put back out in that corner again. It's a damn shame the way they did this movie. It, the, you know, just this indifference yeah. that they had to it. It's, so, it's, just, it's sad, it's pathetic, the attitude that went into this. Especially for a character that no one knew about. You could have done so much. So much could have been done. Brings us to number two. The marketing was just bad for this. Who was this meant for? No, no, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Who wasn't meant for unironically? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. ironically, no. Who wasn't meant for, because I couldn't wait for this shit to come out for all the wrong reasons. Yes. <laughs> I could not wait. And it lived up to every, everything I expected and then some. But for those who actually want to see legitimate, you know, legitimately good movie, who was this, who was this made for? They didn't even know. If you didn't know the character, you know, the trailers did nothing to make the character interesting. Or even worse, clear what the character's about. <laughs> right? She even, she even, even Dakota Johnson was like, oh, I'm doing here. She's like, right, what, what's your powers? I don't know. I'm just hanging out with these girls to turn to spider people. I don't know. Her powers are like never explained. Like, even no! throughout the movie, I was like, but how does it work? <laughs> no, never, people don't know. People, they looked at this like, I, I've heard people who don't know about this character. like, she do. Well, even the other characters are like, how does this power work? It doesn't work like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but that's not quite the answer I was looking for. You haven't answered my question yet. How does it work? <laughs> Shit, I don't want you like, I don't know either. Even the trailer that you just showed kind of points it out. It's like she dies and it's like, whoop, retry. It's like, okay. Yeah. I, I guess I have powers. Yeah, yeah. I, they don't know. And if you did know anything about the character, then you saw how much Sony changed, like you were saying. And it was clear that they... That they that they 
it was clear they didn't that, that, that they did not make the changes for creativity sake mm -hmm. or story sake. Mm -hmm. They changed it so that, and by the way, they changed it and just confused all the mainstream people out there. But their thought were their thoughts were we're just gonna dumb this down uh -huh. so that we can get as many asses in the theater. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to come in and see that we ain't getting all into the, the we ain't doing that nerd shit y'all know. All right, we, well, we gonna make it as dumb as possible, with, which you know you you, you kind of took it too far. You, know, you did, I mean, you dumbed it down way I too know. much, man. They simplified it so yeah, much. It really did. If they really, first of all, if they really cared, they would have gone in and they would have actually tried to stick to the comic book somewhat for the fans out there and, and tried to find a middle ground. Shit, they wouldn't even cast it Dakota Johnson, the, the director. She would have stepped in and said, cast me. She looked just like her. Right, look at her. Right. Wow. Yeah, she, look yeah. at her. She looked just like Madam Whip. She, she maybe, like, maybe that's why they hired her. <laughs> yeah, she's giving her like some Morpheus glasses yeah. and gun. She showed up for the audition and they were like, huh. You know what? You fit the character, but how would you like to direct? Because we yeah. just lost the director. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at it. Shit, she's seeing the future right now. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> I already signed the contract. I, I could have stayed home. <laughs> Three. The movie is lazy to the point of insulting. It's treating the audience too stupid, okay? Now, look, we... Let's not lie, you know, they, they, yeah, I know it's a tactic to dumb things down sometimes for mainstream audiences out there, and it does work at, at, at you know, at, at certain moments. But the way that the, the way that Sony was just looking down on the audience and thinking y'all would just buy any bullshit they put out there with a spider on it, that's insulting. Instead of making a good movie about Madam Web that you see right here, they scrapped, they, they, they went and grabbed Spider-Man by the nipples and squeezed that shit for all the <laughs> spider juice it was worth. <laughs> You hear what I'm saying? Y'all know that if you saw the movie, you know what I'm talking about. They milked them spider nipples, man. They, they tried to put Spider-Man in there. Our spider, our spider type images, you know, they tried to, what they, they tried to put Spider-Man in there and make you think like, oh, if you see anything that looks remotely like Spider-Man, uh -huh. oh, you gonna, you gonna, you, you gonna, you gonna buy it. You gonna love it, man. They tried to put Spider-Man in there without having Spider-Man. Sure, it's like being told you can't have Spider-Man. What if we did this though? Stop that. Yeah. What if we did this? You cross the line. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. What, if, what if like somebody just putting their toe right on the line? What if we do this? Though? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They they tried to have Spider Man without having Spider Man and thought that all of us would would fall for it. You know. Uh, and what I mean by that is that they put in as much spider imagery or tried to make a costume as close to Spider Man as they could. Shit. Even if, if even if it's Spider Man with titties, it's fine. <laughs> Look at all they they like with these, they are trying to get as close to the Spider-Man branding as they can. Yeah. Uh you know, uh uh they had evil Spider-Man in there, which, you know, listen, they tried to <laughs> tried to shoot it in a way where it just, you know, it looked like Spider-Man, but that's a, and that's a terrible costume. Man, I felt so double bamboozled by it because I was like, okay, they got someone who's Spider-Man in there, but it's like he's not even really Spider-Man. He doesn't shoot webs. He's no. not even super strong. He's kind of he's like a just sort of sticky guy with poison hands. <laughs> yeah, sticky guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he would, so he wears a knockoff brand spider suit. He climbs the walls. Uh -huh. The only thing he doesn't do is shoot webs. What do he do? Poison people? Yeah, yeah. he poisons his, his, his venom. And there's a part where like she fights off his his grab, and it's like okay, so I guess he's not super strong, but he just threw you across the room and punches missiles. But like <laughs> she can just go ah and pull yeah. away, and she's fine. Yeah. Yeah, they, they putting a knockoff brand Spider Man in front of you is gonna make you want to go see the movie. And the worst part of it is that, like we told y'all, man, the silliest part. They <laughs> had a whole Spider Man tribe, a Spider Man tribe in the Amazon. That that, that, that this looks so bad. Las Arañas. Oh, get the f out of here! No, that's bullshit. That's that's lost bullshit. That's what that is. <laughs> You can even see how cheap it is when they were putting on the makeup back in the in the dressing room. Look at this shit, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that right there, man. That's a damn shame. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And that's what you got. Look at that. <laughs> Julian actually gave me that video right there. Thank you, Julian. Yeah, I'm glad you used that's it. That's actually that's from funny. the set. There you go. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the tribesmen right there. That's old Easy Sims right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I told y'all, man, if we put enough spider winks in there, 
<laughs> spider wings. Spider <laughs> wings. So we we put enough spider wings or spider like imagery in there, then people oh they'll just show up. You know, like our dicks get hard the moment we just hear the word <laughs> spider. Oh, oh shit! You saw y'all say spider. Oh shit! <laughs> All eight of my dicks are erect. <laughs> I'm shooting webs right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's insulting. It's insulting, y'all. Meanwhile, audience, they're telling you, like, bitch, we know that ain't Spider Man. Who are you trying to look? We see him. Y'all need to. What y'all need to do is quit bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> Quit bullshit. You sure that's not one of the alternative suits from the game? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what is it saying? Y'all need to quit bullshit with this fake spider shit and actually concentrate on the characters whose name is the title of the movie. Instead of doing all this, this, <laughs> doing all this right here, all of this, this old CW fake stupid ass costume shit they're doing right here. Looks so bad. Looks so bad. It's an insult. Y'all, it's an insult to Spider Man. The thing that y'all trying to get people to buy. God damn you. God damn you all. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way they, they insult y'all like this just makes me mad all over again. The thing that, what's that? Well, I just said, I mean, they're already bombed, so it's no reason to just pound them into the ground. No, no, they need, no, no. It's one of them ass whoopers you need to keep getting. So, so since, you know. Since you brought up the, the tribal Spider-Man, someone said something to me that I didn't know how to respond to it, so I wanted to ask you guys. So does them having tribal Spider-Man retroactively make Spider-Man culturally appropriate his costume? I'm I'm not I'm not even like gonna, uh, like that Spider Man is culturally appropriating I'm, his I'm, Someone I'm, said this to me, I thought it was funny. Okay, I'm, I'm this is like my first <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain. <laughs> hey, yo, look at that. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at the spider kid, y'all. I think he appropriated it. <laughs> Shit, someone should appropriate that joke from you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever, whoever wrote that. They, they set you up, bro. They did. They set you up. Thanks, Crispy Computer Fish. <laughs> yeah, he said. <laughs> Yo, don't listen to him. <laughs> crispy Computer Fish, come on. Man. You knew what you were doing. I you thought it was an up? interesting yeah. point. Why you, why you, why you, why you, why you set him up why like that? that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, that's another Julian moment. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Just, you don't get some breaks in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't miss, miss that big wall this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we did nothing. You know, I, was, I kept my mouth shut. I knew I should have said something at the beginning. So you're like, no. <laughs> yes, why didn't you? Yeah. I thought it was yeah. funny. <laughs> God damn, boy, I'm gonna need some special help right now. Better help. Please, <laughs> please throw it. Better, better, I'm gonna need some better help after that, y'all. Boy, this man is driving me crazy. Y'all got a co host to drive you out your mind. Better help. <laughs> don't blame me for that. I don't blame you. Don't blame you. Stop this. Hey, hey, I, I got a question. <laughs> just gonna, wait, this gonna, boy, this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> I got a question for you. Let me listen to this guy. If Spider Man had actually. <laughs> Martin already knew. Martin's <laughs> Martin like Madam Web. You already saw this is going. <laughs> oh no, don't do this, Julie. Don't do this. <laughs> hey, hey y'all. Oh, uh, y'all like me need some better help right now. Y'all need some therapy. Now, I'm sure gonna need it after this. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that I can go online and get some help with betterhelp.com, man. This this portion of the show is brought to you by BetterHelp. And BetterHelp is where you would go to get some online therapy. If you haven't tried it out before, this is a great place to try it. And with BetterHelp, you know, like I said, if you're thinking about doing online therapy, start with them, man, because it is entirely online, which means that it is very convenient, very flexible. You know, not only does it suit your schedule, it suits your style. You know, sometimes people don't want to talk to someone face to face, even if it's on a video call. Some people love that. You have that choice. Some people just want to do a phone call. You also have that option with BetterHelp. And how do you get started? Well, you just go in, you fill out a brief questionnaire. You're going to get matched with a licensed therapist. And hey, you don't like that person? No hard feelings, nothing personal. Just let them know and they'll switch you out with another therapist that hopefully suits you better. And it's all done at no cost. And also, I tell you that it's very flexible here. It's also very affordable. 
Listen, people, don't let the uh, don't let the stigmas about therapy fool you out there. You know, listen, sometimes. Yes. Yes. Sometimes people have serious things going on in their heads and they need some serious therapy. But listen, if you're also somebody who just wants to organize your mind, we're in 2024 right now. A lot of people set up a lot of lofty goals for yourself. You know what? I'm going to eat better. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to organize more and reach those goals out there in my career. If you have your mind clear, you can reach those goals a lot better. Talking about exercising your body, exercise your mind sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Fortify it's, your mind. Yeah, fortify your mind. It's not, it's, it is <clears throat> simply sitting down to talk to somebody. You'd be surprised how much that helps to organize up here. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to betterhelp.com slash double toasted. Why? Because if you do that, you're going to get 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp.com slash double toasted. Let me spell it out for you. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash D-O-U-B-L-E-T-O-A-S-T-E-D. You put that in and you're going to get 10% off your first month. I want to thank BetterHelp. Boy, I need them right now. <laughs> no, I want to thank, right. <laughs> thank BetterHelp.com for sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank you out there for all of your support. Now, to Julian's credit, he did give me the video right here. It was very, yeah, 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 no, no, no. I mean, mm. I appreciate Julian's energy. No, I do. I do. I do. Yeah. That was just, that was in, I know, hey, somebody says something, your partner, you play off of it. That was just one where I was like, I got nowhere to go with that. It was so ridiculous, but like it kind of made sense to me at the same time. It does. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. You, you see me trying to go with you here. Well, he, yeah. man, he's giving it to you. I'm, I'm trying to let it go. Get it off my hands. The, the shitty spider costume. You still haven't answered the question, Martin. Is it a, is it spider appropriation? I need to know. <laughs> Did Peter Parker in a different universe appro appropriate the colors red and blue from a tribe that doesn't exist? I don't know. <laughs> that, 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 that's, a, that's a math problem right there. <laughs> oh. Let me appropriate that question for a quick. <laughs> <laughs> he leaned into it too. <laughs> Pressing issues. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Want to get to the bottom of this? <laughs> if Peter Parker actually took the Perugian spider suits, <laughs> would that be a cultural appropriation? <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, you take things a good stride, though. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. You do. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't worry, I got more. <laughs> no, 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 I was all right. Hey, no, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> One per show should be the quota. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. All right. <laughs> Some of them are more valid than that. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. I can tell you right now. I've seen the future. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey y'all number four number four number yes. four, number four. <laughs> the laziness extends to the production now if you had any doubt that sony didn't care about this movie and i really don't think they did i think they cared about making the money behind putting this property out very quickly but as far as caring about anything you know creative or creative integrity here no I don't think I, I do not believe they did at all. And if you had any doubt that they didn't care and, and that this was uh, uh, this was not a rush job. Look at the poor production in certain places. We already talked about this. We talked about the, 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 the terrible editing for a movie this level, you know, a movie released by a major studio mm -hmm. with a big budget behind it. Not huge, but big enough to where they shouldn't be doing this. And with, a, you know, a link to a major property, and yet you have terrible editing in your movie like this? Hi, sir. All right, I'm gonna- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. I, now, I thought somebody shortened that online. Mm -hmm. That's in the movie. Yeah. That's terrible, y'all. That's unforgivable for a movie of this level right here. Um, and the camera does something crazy right before that part, too. Really? Yeah, like the camera like flips around the car. Like right before that, the oh, like clip shows. Right, yeah, like, like right, right before, before that? that. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, sir. 
Right, I'm gonna cut your. Yeah. <laughs> she teleports. Yeah, that's one of her powers. <laughs> it's the mirror universe. <laughs> that's the thing that was making me laugh about that scene. It's like her powers are almost like you just add water. Like she falls into the water, <laughs> oh, and then, and that then is like true. everything happens. See, I told you you'd like what I had. Fun. Okay, yeah. okay, that okay, that right there. Well, that that one was like what you had. Fun. That's a just add water, Madam Web. I like that. There you go. That's a good kid right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the cheap costumes we talked about. I mean, you know, we've been talking about that over and over again. It just don't look good, you know, uh, uh, on, on screen. I it, can't even forgive the cheap costumes if they had an explanation. That's the thing about it. They displayed anything about no. them. You, and I should also say the marketing. This should have been the marketing part of the uh, when I was or when I was talking about the marketing part. That this is almost it, it's not almost it's misleading. Mm -hmm. it's, also, it's false marketing. Oh yeah. You put them in there promising that we'd get these characters because you heavily marketed them and they're hardly in the movie right. and never explained. They're all this. It's, it's all a dream sequence. Yeah. That's false marketing, y'all. That's right. They're at the very beginning. It's a dream sequence, and then we don't see them till later. Yeah, at the very end, you see them, and I think that's implying that that's what's happening next. But yeah. that wasn't. But for the most part, they're in there for under two minutes, and most of it is a dream sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so cheap costumes, terrible editing for a movie this level. But now some are saying that. The movie is kind of cannibalizing itself from other properties, other spider properties at Sony. So they're saying something. Kevin King, thank you. Kevin King sent this to me. Mm -hmm. And he said that, the, uh, for one, the score in the movie, here it is right here. Okay, so you hear a little bit of that. They say that <clears throat> the score... Here is kind of a kind of a riff on the score from. Did you hear about this? I, I heard something about the score in the yeah, music the, of it. They said the score is kind of riffing on the Spider-Man video game. Yeah. Uh, That sounds like you, the same thing. It's the same that, thing, that's right? Not, that's not even a riff. That's the same thing. <laughs> well, it changes just a little as it goes into but, it. But, but the, I, I did notice that while watching it. I was like, wait, a, this sounds like the game. Yeah, it's a total, it's a total rip off. But I guess, well, you know, Sony owns it all, so they, 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 it's their own catalog. But, it, you know, they, they change it enough later to where it's like, okay, you know, uh, you, you didn't even bother to try to make an original score. You just ripped yourself off because yeah. you're lazy. Uh, also, they're saying that <laughs> there's some footage that's reused from the end of Spider-Man 2. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let me see here. I have it on X. There's a video right here. Uh, it's a little small. Hopefully you can see it. Let me see here. Hold on, y'all. There it is. So you can see that's the same building right there. Uh, this is from Spider-Man 2. Uh, let's see here. Madam Web. The photo on the left is Madam Web. This right here. The video on the right is from Spider-Man 2. So you can see that they're using oh, the same yeah. building. Now, it's not Fast unusual. New York. <laughs> yeah, the same brownstones everywhere. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that on there. I was trying to actually cut it off. But it's not unusual for, uh, for a movie to reuse footage from another film. Sure. I mean, you know, if they can hide it well. They do that sometimes. It's not even unusual for uh, a studio to kind of, you know, do a rehash of a movie score. But for a movie with this production, this shoddy, it just kind of stands out here even more. Mm. You know, it just it just uh, it just shows there's another level where they just they just don't really care. Uh, this one, number five, is not so much beating down the movie anymore. I mean, it, 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 at number five, it simply could also be. Now, that's not to excuse this movie right here because Madam Web is awful. But also, it, it probably doesn't help that, and this is my number five here, that there's just too much spider stuff out there right now. You know, but before Madam Web hit theaters, you know, maybe we, I'm not saying we had spider fatigue, but we already had like enough spider goodness out there. In addition to, you know, the MCU's <clears throat> Spider Man out there, which we hadn't had for a while, you know, over a year or so. Uh, we, but we did just have 
Are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. Yeah, that's the Spider-Man game that just came out, Spider-Man 2. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, we, we're we still talking about Spider-Man across the, the, the Spider-Verse. You know, that's up for Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. People are still watching this on Netflix now. And, you know, it's a movie that's still talked about and loved by people. You know, so while these things are great, the game and the movie right here, uh, they are in short proximity of each other coming out. And so, you know, so why would somebody go see something that's mediocre? <laughs> you know, that, that looks mediocre before it even came out. Well, one of the, <laughs> the charges uh, against this movie and so many of these other lesser superhero movies is that they feel like throwbacks from the 90s mm -hmm. when you didn't have like like pre Iron Man or just shortly after where so many of these studios weren't spending the money and hadn't figured out the formula of how mm -hmm. to make something good that the fans appreciate. It's just like <clears throat> they had the property and they were like, well, let's just do something. Yeah. And, yep. and so, yeah, this being from that era when like, like prior to uh, to like like the X-Men movie, if you got anything like something like this could have come out, it would have been like, man, finally, we're getting some comic book movies. Um, but now it's like, no, nah, son, you got to do way better than this. Yes. Yeah. No, we're getting too much good stuff. And like people, they felt this being mediocre before it came out. So they're mm -hmm. like, why, why I want to watch this shit when there's like yeah. a lot of good other spider stuff that's out there already. You know, I, uh, I man, this whole spider verse that they're trying to create, I ain't, I'm not, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about Miles Morales, you know. I'm not talking about that Spider Verse. I'm talking about this old chopped up last minute bullshit they're throwing together at Sony. Uh, it's getting convoluted, man. I mean, all, everything. How many spider coincidences are we, we going to have before <laughs> Peter Parker even gets there? Right. <laughs> Everybody's got some spider shit going on as a spider tribe, and you know the the, the, the spider chicks running around here, and there's a you know the, the, the evil spider. Like, how much spider shit is going to happen before Peter Parker gets here? And you know. I understand it's a comic book and you could say, well, I mean, they had a lot of them in the, across the, the Spider-Verse. Yeah, but they explained it with a multiverse. Uh -huh. All this is just coincidence. And by the way, it's coincidence to, to just put a bunch of spider images in there to make money, not for storytelling. It's stupid. I was just like, how much spider shit is this book going to be born into? Before that radioactive spider even got here, we had magical spiders. And yeah. <laughs> Symbiotes. And yeah. Vampires. I, I love that they had the spider bite her on the chest, the mom. I was like, why did they do that? And I realized, it's like, oh, that's where the Spider Man logo is. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, man. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Makes sense when you think about it. No, it does not. <laughs> I wish it did. Uh, and six, this is my last one. And number six. <sighs> I'm not blaming her because I think a lot of people are trying to put blame on her, but I don't blame her at all. It's not she knew this movie was bullshit too, but <laughs> Dakota Johnson, I don't she didn't help things. <laughs> she no. just, she did, when she was out there doing the press tour and who can blame her, man? She saw the movie. Saw, she was there while I was being made. She hasn't actually seen the movie and she says she don't want to see it after this. Yeah. <clears throat> but well, you know, well, it, it, yeah, her not giving a shit on doing press. I'm sure she's like I just want to distance myself yeah, from this. I feel if, bad. If, if I act like I don't care, then maybe people won't mentally attach me to it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I. She was out there, and, and the movie was so bad. She knew it was bad being made. Her disdain for it could just not be. <laughs> she couldn't hide anymore. So she just started giving smart ass answers for things. You name the three Spider Man Tom Holland movies. Uh, the Goblet of. Spider-Man. <laughs> she don't care, man. Spider-Man and the don't give a. <laughs> she, she did. She just and that was one of the funnier of the ones that she did. There were others where she just made it clear, like, yeah, it's it's a movie. You know, what do you want me to say? Moving on. Julian actually gave me a video that was. Uh, where it, besides her, I should have put this in the marketing part too. But man, their marketing was so bad for this. And it got to the point where it's just ridiculous. I mean, it didn't even make any sense. What is this? This other. So th they had marketing where they involved Raven Simone from the show That's So Raven. And they did it because she's also clairvoyant and can see into the future. And they play into that. Stop! <laughs> this makes so much sense. I too much sense. You're so it's inspirational to me. I appreciate it. Go see Madam Web. No, let let it let it play there. <laughs> that's where it, it makes it like the show, like right there. Oh, is that? Is that 
Madam Web! <laughs> Coming soon to see the new <laughs> Madam Web! For real. Madam Web! Madam Web! That's the best I could come up with. <laughs> I mean, you know, when everything's on fire and you're scrambling. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and you wonder why you lose. <laughs> they caught Raymond Simone in her pajamas and say, hey, would you mind shooting this thing with us? <laughs> what am I doing here? Hey, who are you? Who are y'all? <laughs> it's going to be real funny when we edit it together. <laughs> Trust us. And I love that they're like, this makes so much sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, is that? Man, y'all supposed to be actors. <laughs> I, I know. Well, hey. even that first part. Oh, the icon himself. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> they are actors, not improv comedians. Good lord. <laughs> Get them girls a script <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Those are my six reasons, man. Why wow. this movie failed? I mean, you could, like I said, you could see a lot of it coming before the movie I, I, came I out. I got another a, a number seven reason. Please, <laughs> number seven reason. No offense to Dakota Johnson, but this movie has no star power. Mm. There is no actor that you see that anybody goes like, "Ooh, I want to see them," and and like they're in it. I I love to watch them perform. Let me come watch this because they're because even though you know you say there's no movie stars anymore except for like a couple of people. There's still some movies where you might be like, I don't know about this, but you see a certain actor who you're used to being in quality productions. You go, oh, well, if they're in it, then maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe give us a chance. Mm -hmm. There's none of that here. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, like I said, man, you know, given all the circumstances around this and all the elements leading up to this, I, I, it's, it's, this is a rare, this is a rare sort of travesty. This is a rare bomb. You know, it's a, I, and I it's guess nothing I got, work for it. I guess I got one more reason. The desperate attempts to be connected to Marvel. Like where one character's like, you won't like me when I'm angry. Yeah. And oh, and really just, somebody did that? They said hungry. It. She said hungry. Oh, okay. yeah, you won't like me when I'm hangry. Yeah. yeah she oh. says it twice. And also that lame ass wannabe uh, a Captain America shield moment at the end on the roof of the Pepsi place. She has like shrap metal that goes off and then she's like, oh, I'll just hold this. Oh, yeah. lock <laughs> missiles and stuff. Yeah, just make your own goddamn movie. And make it, you know, make it no. good. You can steal it from everybody else's movie. You can't even make your own movie. <laughs> Out of here, man. It's fascinating. It's fascinating called, failure. It's called a remix. Oh no, it ain't. It's called some bullshit. This is, damn boy, it's, it's 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 it is a fascinating failure. Yeah, like I was telling you the other day, it's like one of those uh, Rick and Morty alternate universe cable programs. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, it's, yeah. it's like something that aliens made. Like, what they looked at our culture, like, okay, let us make this. Because because <laughs> if you take this seriously, this is appalling as anyone who loves comic books you look at this it's like wow how dare you disrespect this legendary character and the audience at the same time to the highest degree making borat the villain out of here <laughs> so disrespectful yes yes but i, I love it but dude. It to watch. yeah yeah I, I know you're mad now but i think when you watch it again you're gonna have a I'm great coming time around. no i'm coming around just <laughs> talking about today i was like I'm, I'm i'm mad but i feel so good <laughs> I'm angry and it makes me happy. <laughs> and we didn't even talk about it. You can bring it up in the roast because you'll be able to have good footage of it. Ezekiel Sims walks around barefoot the entire time. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, in an yeah. alleyway, barefoot. Walking in the subway, barefoot. Why? So you can climb the walls? Because or he's he's deep within his roots oh, of whatever the fuck. Out of here with it. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think you walk in a New York subway barefoot if you didn't have no, to. No, no. <laughs> He's evil Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets to his feet. <laughs> Nothing penetrates those spider feet. Plus, it was like, what's he been doing all this time? Having somebody dub his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I must stop them. <laughs> they want to destroy me. I must stop them. God damn. Boy. It's not like he was in a room all the time, no matter where he was. It's terrible, man. Oh boy, but yes, I can't, you're right. I, I had so much fun talking about this right now. I can't wait to roast shit out of this. Mm. I, I'm not gonna love the movie. I will love the experience. I predict you're gonna come around. Okay. <laughs> I just saw that. Well, just like this movie, that's bullshit. I, ain't I will enjoy it. I'll meet you halfway in your vision. I'll meet one eyeball. I will enjoy, I will enjoy roasting this. 